Here we go. We're going to talk a little bit more right now about how do you keep your pictures from getting lost. Well, on that note, picture keeper is what you want. However, I don't know when the last time was that I ever saw a picture keeper for $69.98. They're usually $99, $109, $129. At QVC, I'm talking. Those are QVC prices. This one, we've sold 338,000 of these. Um, you're going to save $60 dollars off of the retail price of 129 to bring it down to 69.98 and this is the 64 gigabyte smartphone sp uh, storage device and we have colors to choose from we offer it in the turquoise that you see there we also have it in red we have the silver and the rose gold and it's just a little thing so it doesn't look like much but what it does is what will make you go, whoa, I didn't know that. <laughs> Sarah Catalassi is here to tell us all about it. She Thank brings us you. a lot of our electronics. I actually like to call her the halo gal, but anyway, <laughs> um, how are you, Sarah? Thanks for having me. You're and I know, you know, for all the reasons that you just said, like you need to take care of your things, right? Yeah. So a lot of us are taking 10, hundreds and thousands of pictures on our phones. Probably yeah. the most fragile device that we carry with us every single where we go. We throw it in a bag, we put it in a back pocket, yeah. right? But in that respect, we're putting a lot of faith in the fact that this is always gonna turn on, we're always gonna have it, it's never gonna break. But what if, right? What if something happened to your phone and you never took the time to back up your photos? And yeah. if you haven't backed up, is it because you don't know how? Well, that's where Picture Keeper comes in because it makes it really, really easy to safeguard all of your photos. So again, Picture Keeper is both Apple and Google certified. A 64 gigabyte is gonna hold up to 16,000 pictures, wow. contacts, and videos. And by contacts, we mean all of your phone numbers and email addresses that are in your phone. How many phone numbers right. do you know? Maybe one or two, <laughs> maybe three, not hundreds. <laughs> exactly. So what you're gonna do is you are gonna download a free app to get started again, Apple and Google certified, and you're gonna create a quick account. And it's simply gonna be an email and a password, and then that's it. So you're gonna insert your picture keeper into your charging port. Now, this comes outfitted with a lightning tip, but we also include adapt an adapter for you that's gonna work in every single one of your devices, from the type C to the micro, and it even works in your desktop and laptops at home. So yeah. what you're gonna do, if it's the first time that you've ever backed up, all you're gonna do is hit start backup. But if you wanted to Mary Beth, where it said backup options, it's gonna to default to photos. But if you wanted to add contacts and videos on that first time around, yeah. you can go ahead and hit that too. Wow. But this is why we love it. Again, you hit one button. Picture Keeper is gonna do all the work for you. So you're gonna see a little white progress bar go across the bottom. And what it's doing is finding all of those pictures that have never been backed up before. Now you might be thinking 16,000 you know, pictures, that's a lot of pictures. Yeah. But think about this, the next time you back up, it's only gonna back up your newest content, your right. newest phone number, your newest video. So because of that, it's kind of future forward as well. It right. really gives you an opportunity. Now, if it only did did this, if it only backed up your photos, right, and kind of kept them in the palm of your hand should yeah. you need it, it's worth its weight in gold, right? You kind of mentally made that check mark that you have backed up your photos. So I'm gonna put this down and now I'm gonna show you the second side of Picture Keeper. So we introduced a whole lot of new functions with Picture Keeper at the end of September. Yeah. And with that, not only are you, you know, kind of safeguarding all of your today pictures, you're also now able to preserve all of your older pictures, the ones that you've grown up with, the ones that have been on your grandparents' walls forever. Yeah. If you've only ever seen it in a black and white photo and you know there's only one copy, what we're gonna show you is what you can do with Picture Keeper and then I'll show you quickly how to actually get that done. Mm -hmm. So from here, this is you know a picture of Courtney Kandabi's grandparents actually. Mm -hmm. So with a touch of a button, you can actually colorize oh, that picture. Look I at think it's that. amazing because, right, Courtney said that she had yeah. never seen this picture no. in color before until Picture Keeper. Right. This is a picture of my grandmother, um, one of her nursing, it's a graduation photo, damage to it and black and white. Well, now you're instantly able to restore wow. that picture. So you might be thinking, oh, you know, how, how hard is this gonna be or what do we have to do? 
This is how brilliantly easy Picture Keeper is, both on the backup side and preserving. So I'm gonna come down to the bottom. We have our menu down the bottom and there's another key that says camera. Well, now you're gonna see photo scanner right here. Mary Beth, now you can do this in the comfort of your own home. Yeah. You don't have to send these out. You can do a little bit at a time, but simply by placing a photo inside or anywhere, like you can hover your phone over the top. It really doesn't matter. You can see that that blue box kind of follows all of your pictures. Yeah. Doesn't have to be straight. It doesn't have to be perfect because when you go through this process, you can instantly, right now, there's a little magic wand at the top, you can colorize. You're gonna let Picture Keeper do its thing. It's magically going to colorize it. Look at that. Yes, but here, I love it. This is a picture of my dad when he wow. was, you know, toddling around, right? Oh so my, my dad goodness. would have been over 80 years, or I think 80 years this year. Wow. So this picture, what, is 79 years old? Like, right. I think it's remarkable when you get to see what yeah. you do. And then when you save it, you actually have the opportunity, Mary Beth, you can send it to your loved ones. You can email it. You can post it on Facebook. You can yeah. save it in your camera roll. These are right. the things that you're digitizing and making it really, really great. But what if you say, you know what, how about being able to, you know, make a perfect picture even better? So I'm going to come down here to Magic Erase. Now, Magic Erase is something that's really, really great because what that does is makes a great picture even better, yeah. right? So I'll come up here to, I always show this one because I think it's a really, really cool picture. This is a daughter, my picture of my daughter at the Louvre. Um, but wow. we have a lot of extra noise in this picture. Yeah. So you can see all you have to do with this little finger down here is erase. So whatever, when you're in that magic erase function, you're just gonna slightly glide over everything, all the noise that you just want. You wanna kind of clean it up. Yeah. Now. Again, you're gonna hit Picture Keeper, let erase, let Picture Keeper do its thing. And instantly it's going to take out anything that you wanted gone. And what it's doing is, is kind of looking at all the layers yeah. inside this photograph and it's getting rid of them. So being able to make that perfect picture Look even better, that. I think it's remarkable because, took you know. that person right it, out. It took that person out. So when you look at it this way, here she was, yeah. and now she's not there. So I mean, being able to now make, you know, Lauren the center of that photograph makes yeah. it really, re oops, I just got rid of that. <laughs> but being able to make her the center is yeah. really, really great. So, it's, you know yeah. what, for $69.98, that is one of the lowest prices I've ever, ever seen mm -hmm. on the Picture Keeper. It's 64,000 gigabytes. I know we've had, you know, the 128, the 256 and all that. The average person doesn't need that right. much. You know yeah. what I mean? And if you needed more, you can always come back and get another one. You know, that's the other thing too. Now, it's not just the phones that it will plug into. It will plug into our devices, yep. such as tablets, iPads, yeah. things like that. If I I want to take the pictures that are on this picture keeper mm -hmm. and put them into my computer. Yep. Can I do that? Oh, absolutely. And then you can kind of create a second backup as well. Yeah. This is also outfitted with that USB, meaning all the software is built into this already. So if you have a computer that's yeah. been laying around that you can't get rid of because you know there's photos on it, right. you use this. But keep oh. in mind, like anything that you have as well, from a tablet to a right. phone to a computer, you can now, like I like to call it a labor of love right. because you can use this in so many devices and then share it as well. Yeah. How about being able to find your grandparents? Yeah. This is my husband's grandmother's, little Italian grandmother, all of her recipes, making a book for the members yeah. of the family but then adding and scanning wow. in the only picture that we have. So this is Nana and Catalesi, and I love being able to put the two of them together. I wish we had more time yeah. because this is so interesting, so but fun. here's what you do. You choose turquoise, red, silver, or rose gold. You place your order. You've got a 30-day return policy, and I'm gonna just say right now again, it's sixty-four, or $69.98, $14 a month, just to get it home yeah. and give it a try. Stay on the line, continue to dial in, Sarah, thank you thank so you. very much. You always mesmerize me. Um, but it's time to see our today's special value. I really needed to lose some weight. 